joined here by uh, Kelvin Head, swimming and diving coach Dan Gelderlos after uh, evening one or day one of the MIAA Swimming and Diving Championships. Very eventful and uh, successful first evening for you. Um, at the 800 free relay, you get wins in both the A relay finals, men's and women's school records, meet records, and uh, you just had a couple of male divers uh, do extremely well in the prelims and the one meter board. Looks like they're going on to the finals. Let's uh, let's talk about uh, the relays first. Um, you, you win the the consolation, I think, right? The B relay and then the A relay. Uh, Charles Platt, of course, in that anchor leg, uh, put on a Superman cape and went crazy. <laughs> yeah. Just t take us through those two men's 800 free relays first, because all those points do add up. Yeah. So those uh, that that B relay, we had a ton of newbies in there um, that have never swam in a eight free or a, a relay at the MIAA to begin with, and and uh, to boot uh, the eight free relay, which is a is a tough one. Um, and so those guys all came out very strong. I think we were uh, best times across the board. Um, a lot of them took it out too fast and couldn't control the early speed there, but uh, they came back and fought hard and uh, got, uh, got some big, got the W. And then that, uh, that A relay, uh, first off, hats off to Hope. They really uh, crushed it as well and came out to play also, yeah. and, which was fun to see. And uh, we, uh, <laughs> I uh, had a little uh, strategy error on uh, David who took it out really, really fast. Maybe it's faster than I've ever seen any Calvin swimmer take it out in. And so he uh, still did the best time, but was hurting down the stretch. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, the other two boys uh, held it together. Um, and, uh, you know, the middle two guys just earned their uh, trip to NCAAs in that first relay with the whole meet to go. Yep. Uh, Josh Seidelman and our fifth year senior, it's Eric Chimes, yeah. which even though he swam at a uh, powerhouse Denison, it was never part of a relay yep. um, on that in that squad. So that was awesome to see. And then Charles, yeah, uh, the last you know half of the year, we knew something uh, special was brewing in him and he just knows how to swim it uh, well. Um, and uh, he always has that extra gear at the, at the very end where you need it, which showed today and paid off huge. And so super proud of those guys, MIAA record, um, NCAA qualifying by a good chunk and uh, just really got us off to a good start. So then the women's 800 uh, free, um, you take second in the B relay and the women's uh, A relay ended up being very much like the men's, a very tactical back and forth exciting race and your anchor uh, pulled it home down the stretch Isabella Gable but it takes everybody to uh, to do it and obviously again the points add up so you know those consolation finals are key too right yeah I mean not only not just about a couple weeks ago we were kind of hemming and hawing about our we're gonna put something together in the a free are we gonna go for it and uh, we kind of came up with a plan and committed to it um, about two three weeks ago and those ladies uh, bought into the plan and, uh, you know, ex obviously executed it perfectly. Um, Emma got us off to a start, had a huge, uh, as a freshman, um, in a huge spot there and uh, duked it out with uh, one of the best swimmers in the, in the MIAA uh, and uh, did a personal best by two, three seconds. And then Sydney uh, probably swam the, the race she does not like the most, but she hung in there tough and swam it really well. Uh, handed it off to Maggie, who, uh, you know, held uh, held it strong, and then gave it away to uh, you know our uh, you know our uh, big dog uh, Izzy Gable, and uh, she was able to uh, uh, see 149 for the first time in a while. Yeah, pretty amazing. And then you get a couple of divers uh, on the men's side that looks like uh, well, right now Will Goodpaster has the top uh, score coming out of prelims, and then Jason Perez doing really well. So good to see uh, they'll have something to shoot for. Uh, I'm trying to think when the finals are in the next uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow yeah, yeah. So yeah, just give us a little sneak peek about tomorrow. What what should we look for? Yeah, so I, 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 I see Will's at the top of the leaderboard there. I don't know where Jason is. I'll have to go look at that, but I'm sure top he's... Top four, top three yeah, or four. Yeah, middle of the pack, middle of the top eight there somewhere, which is huge for us. going to get us some uh, big points there, uh, which was uh, kind of a danger zone where, um, you know, Hope could have, uh, might have uh, outscored his bite a little bit more. So hopefully they can hold on to those points and um do some good things tomorrow night and get to regionals as well yeah absolutely all right well congrats on a great first uh evening and uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you tomorrow all right thanks jeff all right